So just to start us off, I wanted to know if you both would kind of talk about your character and really introduce a strength and a weakness that you think they have. That's a good question. Uh, I play Tarek. Am I looking to come and look to you? Like, I don't know why. I just panicked. I was like, I play Tarek, and I got red light syndrome all of You're a like, sudden. I swear that's the I, truth. That's the truth. I don't, I don't look like an actor now. I'm, no. Um, strength is sensitivity. Okay. I think his sensitivity is his strength for sure. His weakness. His weakness, uh, and it's a strength in itself. But its weakness, when we find him, is is his his inability to trust. You know, and it's and it it's justified when we find him. He has probably you know been isolated and alone for a very long time. So that's what happens when we when when we when we in those states. So I would say his inability to trust. But I believe that throughout this arc, he will learn to trust again. Mm-hmm. Uh, I play General Titus, uh, and General Titus. Um, I have to say. His biggest weakness uh, probably had to do with uh, the fact that he uh, himself was uh, part of a a criminal act. You know, of course, uh, he um, was in bed with the Imperium before. He served with the Imperium. So for that and the, uh, I guess, uh, awakening Mm -hmm. of consciousness, made it in the way that he was, um, you know, uh, in need to redeem himself, you know, from, I guess, a number of atrocious uh, things that he's committed over time. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, but what his strength is, his strength has more to do with uh, what he knows. Mm. And what he's he's experienced and what he has uh, overcome, Mm -hmm. you know. Love that. I, I I would think um, it's a bit early to get to that. Right. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't want to give anything but, away. Yeah. yeah. But, yes, but uh, okay. I I'm I'm feeling like that 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 yeah That's that it. is his strength and certainly that is the reasons why they came looking for him. Yes. Yeah, you know, exactly. Because he's uh, yeah. I just realized we have your columns from Pollux right behind you. Oh wow. Ooh, the extra yes. Thing. They gave depth to these backdrops. That's right, super right, cool. Right, right. I just so noticed much. this massive thing. Yeah, like it's yes. just, it's truly it's creating cool this touch, universe. Right? What yes. a cool way to kind of immerse you as, as in, in even this interview. Yes. That's and amazing. I I wanted to ask, I know that um Zack Snyder kind of described that he got a lot of freedom with this project and just being able to bring it and kind of push the boundaries of sci-fi and make it a little freakier, a little more inclusive. So did you feel that on set, each of you? Inclusive, yes. 100%. Inclusivity, a billion percent. No. Because none of us are the fabric of this uh, state, no. right? We're all, we're uh, all mongrels of we're all across the world. It's totally, so eclectic. And so eclectic so from different parts of the world, people from South Korea, people from, uh, you know, Africa, North Africa, yeah, Asia, uh, Russia, Asia, Asia, Russia. And, yeah. and, you know, so it was an, quite a, an eclectic uh, yeah. uh, group of cast. Yeah. Absolutely. And just going over back to you, Stas, I know you kind of said that you thought your character you know, didn't wasn't able to trust. But you have that amazing scene where you have to kind of get an animal to trust. That's trust. Sorry, I should be more clear. Trusting people. <laughs> no, of trusting, course. Trusting, trusting humanoid s. You know, I just wanted to ask. Like, there's, there's so much that goes into that scene. There's different language. Yeah. There's, there's creatures. And so, what was challenging about just kind of getting people into this universe and um, making sure they. That, I'll start with I guess what was challenging or the process I guess was for me I think the first thing I had to do was normalize the fact that I was sitting there talking to a 50 foot bird um, and the way I did that is I kind of compared it to when I tried to ride horses and even more specifically when I used to foster and train pit bulls that were kind of abused or aggressive or whatever and so I, I re- have all three of them that I've had were rehomed and now live in forever homes with kids and dogs and and I just remember that process being very much about the approach and the approach has to be a, a far more intimate and far more sensitive and patient than than I think people understand. And so it was having this healthy respect and also the bird and Tarek kind of symbiotic. They're both trapped. They're both unable to be themselves. And this conversation 
when I remember when I was doing the final audition with Zach, I said, Zach, it feels like this conversation with the bird is more a conversation with himself than anything mm -hmm. else. And he said, that's absolutely right. With your demon. Yeah, with your demon. The, 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 or the, or the, or the, or the, or the one inside who's waiting for redemption. It's that. It's like, let's, 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 let's break these chains of normality. Let's, 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 let's exit the void and start taking action again and mm -hmm. it was kind of a, a wonderful kind of uh op opportunity to really personalize that thing and i love animals i just i love as a person like if i could i'd have i'd be caesar milan i'd have like a 500 dogs so just it was just it was just about being sensitive and intimate and personal absolutely well that's all the time i have but thank, thank you, you so much thank you. Thank i'm you. glad you enjoyed the movie yeah.